Ta-ta, Turtle Man. Darth Vader. The Terminator. Hasta la vista, baby. No, I like to do. I like to walk up in that office, grab one of those guys, and just chuck him, and chuck him, until his eye pops out. What do they have in common? They're all after one man. Turbo Man! Jingle All the Way is the perfect Christmas movie. It has everything you could want. Action. Comedy. Romance. You know, to thank you for fixing my screen door. Superheroes. A drunk reindeer. An elf with a taser. And of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The strength of this holiday charmer lies in its relatable characters. Oh yeah. Wacky comedic action sequences. And its predictable but satisfying plot lines. Arnold plays Howard Langston a workaholic mattress salesman who treats all of his customers like they're number one. He's so dedicated to his work, he can't even make it to his number one son's karate class in time. His son, a young Darth Vader, is absolutely obsessed with the superhero of the hour. His wife, Liz, is the picturesque wife and mother. She looks after Jamie, cooks, and bakes. Throughout the film, she constantly fights off advances from their lecherous neighbor, Ted. You've heard of a punchable face? Well, Ted's got the rare, perfect combination of a punchable face and personality. Oh, that's great. I got a Turbo Man for Johnny months ago. It's nestled safely under our tree. The kind of guy that just gets under your Good. skin in the worst way Howard, possible. By the way. And of course Myron. <clears throat> the epitome of 90s fun, Sinbad, joins Arnie in this holiday blockbuster to play the unstable postman, driven insane like by blast. the insatiable siren's call of capitalism and commercialism. But, of course for my old man, Christmas was just a, another opportunity to let me down. <laughs> I never did get that Johnny Seven on me. Much like Howard, he just wants his son to have the best Christmas possible, so he doesn't end up just like him. These characters drive the story forward, with just the right amount of realism to make them relatable. Which reminds me, you got the doll, right? The doll. But also just the right amount of instability to make their wacky antics entertaining to kick back and relax to. Where's your Christmas spirit? And that's the real beauty of Jingle All The Way. It has just the right mixture of suspending disbelief, it's relatable, heartwarming moments, and some genuinely surprising plot developments. For instance, take this romantic subplot. Ted tries for the entire movie to essentially replace Howard as a father and stuff Liz's stocking, if you know what I mean. Every woman in the neighborhood is trying to get Ted to eat their holiday cookies, but he only has eyes for Liz. Instead of Howard waltzing in and breaking his face with bulging biceps, Liz takes matters into her own hands and gives Ted a face full of eggnog. That's right, Liz is a strong, independent woman and can take care of herself. That didn't exactly go as well as I'd hoped. I mean, in what other movie can you see the kindergarten cop square off against an army of mall Santas led by Jim Belushi?
Not to mention Sinbad threatening the police with an active bomb threat in order to escape arrest. Tell him! This man is totally insane. Thank you! It's easy to simply write this off as a one-off merchandising film made to sell a toy and make a quick buck. But that simply isn't true. Due to the very short filming cycle, only two separate toys were ever produced with a very short marketing period. Only roughly 200,000 units were actually manufactured for general public sale. And they're definitely not any cheaper now. Interestingly enough, the release of the film did coincide with the real-life 1996 craze of Tickle Me Elmo. Coincidence? Turbo Man wasn't created to sell toys in the real world, but was instead created to sell an idea. Turbo Man was born as a representation of the insanity of the holiday season, driven by our insatiable lust for commercialism and consumerism. Who among us hasn't gone to insane lengths, trying to find the perfect gift for that special someone? Who among us hasn't procrastinated until the very last minute, looking for just the right present? We tend to forget from time to time, or maybe all the time, but the real value of the holidays isn't found in the gifts under the tree. Why do we even give these gifts to our friends, families, and children? To see the joy in their face and to feel like we're giving them some piece of happiness, even if it's temporary. Jamie! And that is the key to the real joy of the holidays. It's found in the experience and time we share with our loved ones. Merry Christmas, Jamie. It takes a lot. And I mean a lot for Howard to finally see it. Howard? Uh-oh. When he does, he finally realizes that the Turbo Man he was searching for the Turbo Man that would make him the father his son wants him to be. Yes! The Turbo Man that would make Jamie's dreams come true. But Jamie, that Turbo Man was inside of him anything. all along. What do I need the doll for? I got the real Turbo Man at home! Oh.